Hello and welcome back to It's What I Do. Today, this little quick video, we're going to do some water tests on the pond. So stick around and uh, we'll see what the results are. Right, so the way I do this, um, I've got a, a syringe that I draw water out of the pond with. Um, for my test tube, so we'll get on with that and we'll draw some water out of the pond. Not sure how well you'll see this, but all we do is take the syringe and plunge it into the water so that we're a good sort of three or four inches below the surface, and we draw a nice syringe full of water like so right so the test kit that i'm using is the api pond masters test kit so if we open the top up there we see we've got loads of bottles and these little, little test tubes so we get the water and we're going to fill up the test tubes to the five mil line and then do the individual tests. Let's just move that over a little bit. Get our syringe. Let's see if I can do this in front of the camera so you can see. Right. Just put the water in up to the five mil line. Yep. I'm going to put a lid on for the moment and then we'll fill the others up There you go I won't get rid of the uh, the rest of the water yet just in case I need to redo one so the first one I'd like to do is the ammonia test and we've got two bottles for that bottle one bottle two there we go. Oh, give it a shake first And this one is six drops of solution. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll just give that a little mix oh. and we want the second bottle and again we oh, misread that nearly that's eight eight drops not six one two Our second bottle, a little shake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put a cap back on our test tube. Hello, Mr. B. Give it a little shake. And then this one. We'll just check the instructions one second. So, the ammonia test. We need to give it five minutes for the colour to develop. So while we're, while we're waiting for that, we'll 
carry on with the rest of them. The next one we'll do is the nitrite. Test solution for nitrite. a single bottle that one there and we had five drops to that one so we give it a good shake again Five drops. One, two, three, four, five. Give that a good shake. And then we leave that one for five minutes again. I'll leave. Let's put our lids back on our bottles before we knock them over. So that's the ammonia and the nitrite. <clears throat> and the next one is the phosphate. Uh, phosphate, I've always had a little bit of a problem with the phosphate. It uh, always tends to be a little bit high. So for phosphate we've got Again, two bottles, um, and that's six drops. Give it a shake. And we want six drops of bottle one. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know if you can see that or whether it's too much shaded. Give that a little shake. This one's a bit thicker, this. And again, we use six drops in there. One, two, three, four, five, six. on there, give it a good shake. And that's phosphate. So we let them cook for a minute. Yeah, the phosphate one is three minutes wait, so We'll give that a second. What we'll do in the meantime, we'll try the uh, carbon hardness one, the KH. <clears throat> and this one's slightly different. What we do with this one is we put one drop in and give it a shake. We can see it turns like a bluey colour. And then what we've got to do is one drop at a time, add it until it goes yellow again. So one. One. <clears throat> so that's two drops in total for it to go yellow again. Which is a bit low, really. I like it to be a little bit higher than that. 
Okay, so that's the KH one over there. Leave that there for a minute. So now let's have a look at the uh, the ammonia one. Um, The ammonia one, I don't know if you can see it. The ammonia one sitting between 0 and 0 0.25, closer to 0, I think, which is good. Um, bearing in mind, I've only just fed the fish. So, yeah, the ammonia is pretty good. Now we have a look at the nitrate. Again, the nitrate is showing zero. Not very really easy for you to see in this shade. And the phosphates. Phosphate is somewhere up about the one part per million, which is so it's a little bit high, but I've always had that problem in the pond. The phosphate is always fairly high. So the last test we could do is the pH. Uh, those I don't normally use the solutions I've got an electronic meter for that but as we've got it out we'll just do the, the uh, pH so we've got a wide range pH solution and it says give us five drops for that one so five drops in there one, two, three, four, five. Give that a little shake. And I believe that's an instant result for the pH. Yep. So the pH on there is around ooh, 7.5. That's 7.5, which is about what I expect. <clears throat> Between 7.5 and 8.2 usually for the pond. So let me just go and get the digital tester and you can have a look at that one. Okay, so this is the, uh, the digital pH reader that I tend to use. Um, and what we do with this Take the cap off. Switch it on. And then we submerge it into the pond. Just the, the tip part of it. And we leave it to settle. Okay, so that's settling around 7.12, which is a little bit low for me. I like, like it to be a little bit higher. So I'm going to need to add some bicarb, which will help with the KH as well. Because the KH was somewhat low. Okay, well that was a very quick video on how I do the water tests. So I hope you enjoyed that and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.